Governor Eddie Calvo says this build-up process has gone on long enough. And I'll be sending word to Washington in the coming days that Guam's governor and congresswoman are supporting the military build-up because doing it properly will benefit both Guam and the United States. In his weekly address, Governor Calvo says not only is he generally in support of the plans proposed by the Navy, but that he's willing to sit down with the feds to iron out any details and address any disagreement. The time for political maneuvering and grandstanding is long gone. There is a plan in front of us to move that build up forward. This plan takes into account almost every previous objection to the build up, and it provides even more options than the last environmental impact statement. The comment period is currently open for the draft SEIS. One of the differences is that Paget will no longer be the preferred site of the live fire training range complex. And I wish to acknowledge the effort by many who rallied to ensure that our historical and cultural interests were preserved. And I'm not talking about just people within the government, but primarily the grassroots groups, such as We Are Guahan, who gave voice to our ancestors, who brought national and even international attention to the need to preserve our historical resources, not just our economic ones. We are Guahan, along with our islands are sacred, and families in the Retidian area continue to rally, most recently during a roundtable at the Guam Legislature over concerns about the latest SCIS that moves the range from Paget to Northwest Field. In his address, Calvo says the Navy and JIGPO have showed their willingness to change their plans, having moved the firing range preferred option three times already, each time in response to concerns from senators. Calvo says the delay is enough, and it's time to get the build-up started. The government of Guam can show unity in its support if senators do the right thing and pass a resolution indicating what Congresswoman Berdalli and I are telling Washington, that we support the build-up. I think he has forgotten that there are three resolutions already that have been passed by uh, three different legislatures. Speaker Judy Wampat says two of those resolutions were passed and voted upon by Governor Calvo and Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio when they were both senators in the Guam legislature. So. I, I don't understand uh, the need again for another resolution. Those resolutions really stand until such time that uh, someone wants to uh, pull it back. Wampat says statements out of Adeloupe in the past few weeks have appeared to depict that senators do not support the buildup. Wampat has expressed her disappointment with Calvo over his statements on the buildup, adding it's best to carefully read through plans before making, quote, blanket statements that may affect our community. Absolutely. It has to take everyone here in our community because it is their lives as well that are going to be affected until such time that uh, uh, they are heard, then I think the governor needs to also listen to the people as well. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.